I'll be installing some sensors today and uh, getting our weather sensor that monitors wind speed, rain, wind direction, outdoor temperature, outdoor humidity, indoor temperature, indoor humidity, digester temperature. I'll also have the lane units. We'll be getting those installed that monitor power, that also control the fans and turn the fans on and off, uh, microgreen valve control, the watering system. We'll be able to get that all under control as well. So lots of stuff to start doing. It's a beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody. Well, we get to start our first sensor install. I guess it's not our first in sensor install. It's the first one of the year, that's for sure. But we're at the end of phase two. So I actually get a, this is going to be the last set of sensors I installed this year. Uh, as I spoke about in an earlier video, Mrs. Martian and I decided that we need to kind of focus on lane one and lane two, which is behind you as far as the camera view goes, and really get the microgreens up and running. That means lane three and lane four automation is going to wait until next year. So uh, what we're going to have to do this year is get the electrical and water monitoring in on lane two and lane one eventually. And then why I'm standing here, is we're going to get the environmental sensor and it's a wind sensor if you recall so we're going to actually go up and mount it all the way up at the very tip of the building so I wanted to show you what it looks like inside of here first I got to go all the way up there and mount it to the vertical bar that you can see in the camera and then the control unit is actually going to be mounted over here so that we can run the temperature probe down into the digester so got quite a bit of cabling some zip tying to do and some climbing up on ladders and going really really high which I never enjoy so let's go ahead and get started okay well here is our weather uh, pole and on it we have our wind speed sensor the anemometer we have the wind vane and we have the rain catcher the only thing that hasn't been installed on here yet is the outdoor temperature and humidity probe and I'm gonna have to install that once I get it all mounted uh, to make sure my cable links are right what we're gonna do the plan is climb up on the ladder I gotta cut a small slit in the opening up there I don't want to actually cut into the building fabric because that'll weaken the fabric of the building it could result in tears but when I had them put Put this fabric together for me I had them put a little door up there so I can cut a little hole in that I'm gonna slide this post down into it I have to make sure that these bolts right here are facing north which is behind me uh, and then I got to run all the cables through it go back inside with the ladder and then mount everything uh, from the inside so gonna be tough for a one-man job we'll see how it does it's gonna probably be pretty funny in time-lapse <laughs> Okay, so I got it in initially, and I just have it held in place with some zip ties, but we're not going to stop there. Obviously, that's not going to be enough. So I'm actually going to go back inside, and I've got some big U-bolts that we're going to put through here to really hold it in place, and then I have to make sure, sorry, my mic, I have to make sure that it's vertically straight. So there's a little bit of alignment to do. Got it pointed north. Life is looking pretty good. First part of being up on a ladder is done, and I hate being up there. So that's a good thing.
Okay, well, I wasn't totally satisfied last time I talked to you guys. Uh, I wanted to get a little more accurate, so I went and got my engineering compass, and I got north uh, pretty much dialed in as, as close as I'm going to make it. And I also forgot I needed to install the temperature and humidity sensor. So uh, there's a single waterproof temperature and humidity sensor inside of the uh, double gang box up there. The double gang box has holes all around it to help the heat move out of it. But I realized with some of the sun hitting it, no matter where I put that thing, it's, it's going to be slightly off, but all things being relative, it'll be good enough. So uh, I got a little angle tilt in it right now. You probably can't tell from that view. It looks pretty good. And uh, so I got to get inside with the ladder and get the U-bolts on. And then I'll also take the level on it and uh, get it nice and vertical. The thing spins, though. That's good. <laughs> so uh, I hate being up on that ladder like that. You know, I really... Uh, I'm not so scared of heights as I am falling, you know, losing control. So uh, that's probably the bigger thing I'm scared of is losing control. Oh, and I just realized I need to go back up there and uh, zip tie some of those wires. So I'll go do that real fast. Next time you see me, I'll be inside and I will uh, be getting the U-bolts on.